Welcome back to Space Engineers. We are on episode 14. And as I was logging and just starting recording, there was, I'm going to say, a little bit of uh, fireworks. So I'm just going to quickly check there was no damage. And while I'm doing that, let's talk about episode 13 and 12. So for those of you here and watched it last time, we obviously recorded a shorter episode on 12 of 10 minutes. And I was looking for some feedback from you on whether it was, you know, 10 minutes was all right or if 10 minutes is too long. Um, I doubt 10 minutes is too long, but you get, you know what I mean? And on episode 13, we recorded basically a 40 minute episode just so we could see how that also panned out. Now, there was a lot of gunshots from here. Was it this ship? And it just got annihilated? Maybe. But anyway, in episode, oh look, <laughs> there's a bit of a ship. Um, so anyway, last episode in episode 13, uh, we built this drone platform and we connected it up. Now, this is great, but we don't have any drones. So what we need to do is get some drones built. So I think to do that, we're going to go underneath the base and we're going to build it at the back here. So I think we'll dig this area out here in front of me and maybe to the back. And then we'll put the printer under here and I'll think about it and we'll see if we can get a roof out. Now, I was also thinking about this area because this is a nice little skylight but it doesn't really match the base I don't think. So we can turn this into a, a grinding pit quite easily but we'll we'll address that later. For now I think what we'll do is we will get the mining ship down here, dig out a big hole and we'll come back when we're able to start building uh, the actual printer. And I haven't yet decided what type of printer I want to do but we'll, we'll talk about that later when we actually get there. For now, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so it looks like I'm about to get attacked by this. And I've got to make a decision. I don't know if realistic I can attack it, but first things first, I'm going to try and get some more health. And then we might stand a chance, but I, I, I don't know if I can take this on. And I think... The more I think about it, we're going to have to do something about these bases because I've just been repairing the roof. I am getting annihilated. So what have we got? Seven clips. That doesn't sound like a lot. And uh, Not clips. Magazines. Clips are things you put in your hair. I know. Uh, let's try a bit more. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no, because I'm within 1.5. It's definitely sent. Oh, sending a drone. Okay, first things first, let's get that one here. Are you going down? You are, good. I'm hoping this doesn't launch another one. I don't know if I can do anything on this. I want to get that turret. Okay, let's see if we can get higher. Higher, 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 higher. Oh, no, no, no. <sighs> Much higher. I don't know if this is going to work. This is not going to work. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need a gunship or something because I just can't um, survive here. I'm getting attacked constantly. So I think, look at this. Like This is, this is what I mean. I, my base is under constant assault. And this isn't even me attacking. This is just me being attacked. Look, another drone. Please don't have ammo. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, the good thing is, with the amount of guns I have, I am at least destroying these pretty damn quick. But still, my my base is Swiss cheese. Where's my body? Oh, I don't... Mm. Okay, we're going to have to try and do this uh, a bit cunning. Because I don't want to go pick up any more things. So let's use momentum. To get me as far forward as I can. Unless so I've turned off my jetpack. If I want to come a bit closer, I'll turn it back on. 
Oh, a bit close. But, let's see. Turn on a bit sooner than last time. Try and land here and get my stuff back. Well, okay, so we're going to have to do something with these. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh no, that is not enough fuel. What? Okay. So we're going to have to do something about that. But today we, we need to get this ship printer built. Um, it's largely okay. And I think... It's only been maybe a, a couple of hours since we were thinking, hey, let's let's build and grind. And I, I did go off and I did do that. And I'll show you that in a second. But uh, I must have been attacked probably five times. It feels like every 15 minutes I'm getting a, a ship come at me. And I think I've got four or five bases around me, which are you know within, say, 10 kilometers. But I think what we need to do is probably build a gunship and just go and take these things out. Now, I know it's possible to take manual control of the guns, but I've not been able to do it. Uh, I don't know if I need to be in a seat, maybe. But whatever it is, we'll, we'll, we'll need to work it out. Uh, ice mine entrance, silicon mine. Where is my base on here? Don't tell me I'm heading the wrong direction. I <laughs> wish my base just that far away. Um, but wherever it is, we need to find a way of getting a bit of extra range and shooting. And I know there is, I think, I think you can get some uh, turret control. We might experiment with that in a second. But let me get back to base and show you at least what we've been doing. And hopefully it's up here. Or at least we can get closer. Oh, I'm bouncing. There we go. There it is. So, this is really awkward at the moment. I, I got like another ship. I, I'm not saying I'm regretting fixing the mod. I thought I was better prepared. But, again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in my base here. Uh, can I even weld this up? Look. Look. And the reason I realized this was so bad out here, because I heard the gun fighting, and I was like, oh, okay, well, it's just some gun fighting. Never mind. Doesn't matter, right? And then I looked up, and there was a hole where one of them had come through and basically just disintegrated um, the ceiling. So there was no... Pew, 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 <laughs> I, I shut my eyes when I heard that. There was no... There was light coming through. Really awkward. Okay. Well, can I at least repair this so I can get in and out? Where are you shooting? What is this over here? There, there is nothing left of it. Was it really necessary to destroy this? What have we got here? Some ammo. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Before I die horribly, let's uh, get back in the base. And we'll, we'll take one of the new entrants that um, have been created by all of these. Uh, look at this debris. Ah, okay. But this, this is what triggered me to come out aside and look because I was like, oh, there's a hole here. I don't remember there being a hole here. And that's because there wasn't a hole here. Anyway, here's my ships. Let's turn my lights on for you. I dug this space out here. And this is, what, five blocks wide? So I think what we're going to do is build a welder wall and we're going to pull things out. Now, given the space in here, we need to work out how we're going to do it. So there's two options. I can build a tiny, tiny ship that just pulls stuff out. Or we can do the opposite and have the welding wall 
be movable and pull the welding wall back. I might do that because there's been updated box collisions now. So I believe if I was to do something like this, I just want to put this here as like a placeholder. Of course, I need some steel blocks for that. Let's go over here and grab some. Oh no, I parked it too well. Did you hear that gunfire again? Anyway, so we've got this in the middle. Boom. Now, if I was to come across to... Can I get a block on that edge? Just there? I can. If I was to do something like that... Where's my pistons? This one. So what I want to do is get one higher. Get you up there. And all, of, all, I'm, all I'm trying to do at the moment is just see if I can push a piston this way. Because this will have conveyor on it eventually. But I should now, if I go back to... Uh, to be fair, we can probably just build this with real things, right? Um, where are they? Do I have a welder anywhere? Nope, but I have this. So, if I do that, for example, I can do this, and this, uh, will that attach if I do that? No, it won't. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm out of steel plates. That makes more sense. Hopefully, if I can get this under here, though. I might be able to get one more down here. At which point I can have a nice little welding wall. Uh, can I do this? I'm just trying to cheese it now. I can. Okay, so... Okay, let me try... So what I want to do... What I want to do now is just place a uh, conveyor on top of here. Uh, where is it? Here. Place this down. And then if I place this down. That means that's connectable. Now, how I would normally do this is put basically a wall of conveyors in. So let me drop down now. So these are now separate grids. But I'm fairly certain they'll all be connected. And this is maybe a bit too much, but I should, because these connect on the backs and the sides. Yep. Do this. Right? Should be able to do something like that. Right. So, what I'm thinking is I'm going to build this into a, a square. And I've got this set on a, con uh, a piston at the moment with a few conveyor blocks. So, what I'm thinking is we'll, rather than pulling from the printer, we'll pull from it. Now, the only thing I need to make sure is that this is big enough um, to do it. And that will extend, was that two blocks? But I think it'll go to six. So these are built two blocks in the front. So they should be able to build blocks here. 
And if I get out uh, this, actually let's get out of this. So they would, they would build that one, and I think they would build this one. That's two, three, four, five, six. And then they should be able to build um, at least one more. That should be able to build up to there. I mean, that's a reasonable size. The question is, is it big enough? I think it is. All right, so I'm going to fit this out a bit wider. And... I could make it a little bit wider as well, so it fills this gap, actually. Um, this is dangerous. Not as dangerous as getting attacked all the time. Let's weld that. No one needs to know. i get rid of this little bit here as well, actually. Dink. Oh, that dink. Come out my new hole. Where did it land this time? Is that a new one? Might be a new one. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have to sort that out. Okay. Let's get back in here. And actually, with this being here, I'm almost tempted. Um, we've got the tunnel for maybe driving vehicles. So we've got... Because I was going to have driving vehicles at the top of it, that's why I had the ramp. But now I've got this thing here, I can build and just drive out this way and have an exit. But now I've got this um, roof access, I could turn that into um, just a big door that opens like I did over there, and then the ships can fly out. But we'll, we'll see. So, let me get this welded up. Well, that at least explains what the bang was, I guess. <sighs> weldy, weldy, weld. We're definitely going to have to do something about this. I think um, the plans we had for the next episode are going to have to change. We are going to have to deal with these bases somehow. Else we are just not going to get anywhere. We can't be under constant attack. We've got defenses, don't, don't get me wrong, but these defenses aren't worth a damn if we are constantly being hit by this many drones. We need to go and take out the root cause. Like, I was thinking the odd ship flying over would be the main problem, but turns out not so much. It's the fact that every. <laughs> right on the floor. It's the fact that um, we're getting drones sent in as well. So I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet next episode and build a warship of some kind and uh, take them out. I have no idea how I'm going to build it. I might do it in creative mode, and then that way we can uh, see what happens and work on it quicker, and then use our printer maybe to, to build it. So I think maybe we'll do that. And that means we get a bonus episode as well. Let me, uh, let me finish tidying this mess up, and uh, I'll bring you back when this is tidy and the welding ship is done. Uh, the welding ship. Oh god, that episode took a long time. I meant when the ship printer is done. So then we can print our ships and hopefully it's safe underneath all this base. But anyway, see you in a sec. Just quickly testing that it, it does what I think it should. It should slide nicely over these now the collision boxes are done. Um, and then this will also give us the furthest reach as well, which we'll just quickly test. We drop down here. So if we start by putting a block here, and we'll just <laughs> just use uh, build vision to turn this one on. That one doesn't get built, but that one does. So anything here is good. So what I'm gonna do is do this. Uh, I can't, I can't out, out grind this, so let's turn you off. I'm just going to mark this on the floor by taking out the bottom block. And that's where I want my rotor to go. So anything built this way should be fine. So projector and rotor here with a small grip, and that should make it okay. And this should also retract nice and easily as well. So let's just try 
Okay, so now one other thing I want to talk about as well is my base. And if, if I've got a screenshot, I'll show you, got absolutely destroyed. Uh, everything got destroyed. Ding. Everything. There wasn't a single gun turret. The, this whole section here was gone. All the turbines were gone. The assembler was destroyed. Everything. And while I was down building, basically, I had just... I don't want to say I got careless. I mean, I did. But uh, the long and short answer is... I didn't... Um, I ran out of resources, so I couldn't defend against the base. So I had to make a decision about uh, continuing or not with the game. I rolled back a save, but... But, and this is the important bit. But... I had to um, get into creative mode even to the oldest save I had to get this back to the state. And as you can see, I put a couple extra gun turrets on to help buy me some time. And I did drop some resources in. So, given that my iron mine is completely offline, because that also got destroyed, and given that we have acquired a bit of ammo to buy ourselves some time then I think it's only fair that we go through and we'll get rid of these iron plates. But we're going to save that for the next episode. So I want to build a ship so I can actually go and destroy some of these. Now, I went and destroyed one that was this way, that was close. And I'm hoping that buys me a bit more time or a few less attacks anyway. Um, and if it does, great. If it doesn't, then we'll have fun time. But either way, let's see what happens. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, I won't get too attacked. And I'll also, like I say, once I'm so back on my feet, like I'm not completely getting annihilated, I will absolutely fix that up and get the other mines done. And I will just, I'll do it on the video. I'll just delete the resources um, because this saved me time. Um, not resources really because trying to build everything up again and getting it back to normal would have just taken too much time and we wouldn't get through this video so right I'm going to finish off that projector now down there and then we'll come back and hopefully um, we'll get that finished and we'll we'll have another chat at the end okay so I've got the rotor here and you can just see the projector below now, the easiest way of putting a small head on this is with build tools and just doing that. As you can see, oops, that's put the head back on. So all I need to do now is weld that up. And uh, we can start projecting things and seeing if we can build them. Now, obviously, this is tiny. But that's a good thing. Oh. And hopefully you guys are getting a feel for how bad these attacks are. And again, bear in mind, I've actually taken out two bases uh, and added extra guns. And it's all repaired up there. Um, so in a minute, we'll go up and you can see uh, just how bad it is. Right. So I want to bring this forward a bit. So this is just scaffolding so I can project um, something onto it. I think what I'll do is I'll build a control desk up the top here. Because if I can get it here, then I can actually see what I'm doing. So let me let me grab a desk. Maybe one of these ones. Be nice to overlook. Oh, there we go. You want one of those? Should have grabbed the bits for it first, I guess. Get that down here. What we'll do is we'll program this um, one to control that piston so it has the right speed. Because what, what we need to do is make sure it pulls back slow enough um, when it does it. And to be honest, the easiest way of doing that is to set a speed on the piston. But before I do that, I'm just going to name the piston so I know what it is. So this is currently called piston 2. So we'll call it. Uh, whoa! Hang on. Push wrong buttons. Small. Grid printer. Um, let's put piston in the front there so we know what it is. Piston, what grid printer? Piston two, small grid printer. Right. 
Cool. Jump over here. Can't see a thing, but let's see if we can work it out. If we type in piston, piston two small group. Um, now, I think what we want here is an extend, um, a retract, and a reverse, because that's useful. And then on this end, I think we'll just have a uh, toggle on off so we can stop it. Could be useful. Just double check what else we got here. Uh, yeah, decrease velocity. And actually, let's change. <laughs> I did that wrong. Um, let's change you to decrease velocity and change you to increase velocity. Actually, no, I don't want those on there because um, they change it in, in too much. Let's do that. Okay, so now it's in there. So let's now find the piston in this view because what I want to do is make sure I set, set this up with the right st uh, speed. Just want to change that as well. Uh, it's not good. Sounds like we're going to get attacked again. Let's set it to 0.05 way too quick so uh, if you don't know I think if you can control and click you can type in so what I think will work is something like 0 0.01 it's a, a good speed pew, 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 pew. just ignore the gunfire it's fine pew, 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 pew. Oh. <laughs> uh, should we have a quick look so <laughs> I'm I'm kind of worried to look. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. Hardly any damage. But look at that. Pew 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 pew. Bang bang. They they don't even shoot that far, so there's no way I'm taking that out. But at least it's not a, a base. I don't think we have any bases nearby. Uh. Okay. So question is can I set the velocity I don't think I can if I could be really handy mm, no doesn't look like it so I was hoping if I could set the see I can reset velocity but that's not gonna help that's fine so what we want to do is uh, extend it. Uh, I'm now worried that is an extend. Let's have a look. Are you intangibly moving? I might have set this a little bit too slow. Do we think this is moving? It is moving. I think we set this a little bit too slow. So let's just uh, ooh, set this to be a little bit bigger, a bigger, a little faster. That's a little bit too slow, so let's go with 0 0.01. We haven't changed anything else. Okay, at least I can tangibly see it moving this time. I do wonder how we're going to do this, because it would be nice if we could... I wonder... Okay, let's let's try. I mean, we're not losing anything while it's slowly extending. So if we do this, increase velocity. I'm wondering if I can increase and decrease the velocity um, in a way which makes sense. Like, does it keep that that factor on it? So, for example, this is now going one meter a second. So, is it? If I then do this, it's like I never do this. Okay, well that works. Okay, so it still moves. But I'm going to get hit by that, aren't I? Okay. So that sets the pistons. Let's go on to here. And we want the projector. And I think the only thing we can do on this is turn on. 
then we need to increase horizontal, decrease horizontal. So we want to set these up. And if we can do all of these, then it gives us the ability to move whatever we are projecting around. So increase forward offset. So that rough position, and then we're going to go to a third one, which is going to be pitch and roll. So hopefully we don't have to do this too often. But as you can see, there's there's a lot of options here, and it it does unfortunately just you know depend on how you did it. So that's increase your, decrease your. We've got what here, increase your, no, I already did increase your, uh, increase your, so we want increase roll and decrease roll. Pretty sure there's nothing else in there I want. No. Okay. Cool. So that is all set up. So this gets the piston in the right place. So this is the main driving one. So I think we'll put the welders on here, but we need to create a welder group. So let's get out of here. Let's grab the welders. And it's going to be all of these. Uh, so small grid printer welders. Save that. Uh, show box on terminal. No. Good. That's what we wanted. So now, if we press G, we can get the small grid welders. And this is very simple. Turn it on or turn it off. Now, something I want to check is whether I actually get hurt here because I'm right next to it. I don't, which is a good sign. Okay. So the last thing to do is get that projector up and to project something. So let's go to my blueprints. So in short, we, we do actually need uh, a drone. So we might do that. Um, I'm tempted to build one of these ships. That's my, my world earth from this series. Small shuttle. So I built these shuttles in my earlier play. Um, not sure it's a good idea to build one, but let's um, let's build a drone because we we absolutely need a drone. So let's do that. I think I want to say copy to clipboard. Okay. Now I did that. Did that work? I'm on a different block all of a sudden, so I have a projector, blueprints, yeah, incorrect grid size, blueprint must match that of the projector, no, oh, I knew I made a mistake, uh, what, how did you, there's no holes, like, isn't, there isn't any holes here. Unless it came through that hole. Wow. Okay, well. This is unfortunate. But this projector is no good to us. Not down there anyway. But it's not the end of the world. Because we can put it actually just on. There you go. Uh, we can just put it on the, um, on the, um, get rid of this. What I was thinking is we can put it on the road to head here and that will, that will be fine. Is that? That's 100%. So let's do this instead. Uh, what did I hit? A desk. Is that a small desk? <laughs> it's this control seat. Okay, so we're going for a small projector, which is fine. And then we want 
one, two. Oh, I should have looked at this because that was the front. So I could have saved myself. I'm going to redo this because the projectors have sides. And that is not one of them. There you go. So that is a side of a projector. Like that. So that should be the front. Assuming I haven't ruined the way I placed it. Pretty sure where those four come in, it's the front. Not 100% sure. But it's closer than it was. Let's come up a little bit more. And then we'll just bring this forward as well. Okay, let me get this sorted and then we'll come back. Okay, I think, I think we have it. So if we go back to here. I don't know why it's making it over complicated, but in theory, all I need to do is move it this way, right? This way. No, get the right one. Is it this one? Something like that. Something like that. Now, something I do need to think about is how do we get that bit at the back? And it might be actually that we need to move it a bit further in. So let me play with this a little bit more. Nope, not that one. This one. It, it really needs to be about here. I think we'll start there. And then we'll build up to it because if it's not there, then we're not actually going to get the thruster built. So what I'll do is I'll actually build to that thruster and we'll build off of it because that will be the easiest way to ensure that that thruster gets built. We'll just come up a couple blocks here. And this should be magic. There you go. So that should get the thruster built. I mean, if we wanted to, we could also extend this here, and that would guarantee the battery gets built. And everything else should definitely come off of that. All right. Back in here. Back to here, and turn this on. Just make sure I haven't gone too far. Whoops, stop. Uh, seven is decrease. Painfully slow. I wonder how, how far that is. Not quite. Increase the velocity. How many is that? Each one of those is three. One, two, three. It might be a couple of blocks too far. That's fine because we don't actually have to go any further than that, to be honest. We can stop it there and then turn it on. So let me remember which one's which. Uh, we come into here. So extend, retract. Reverse is three. And four is on. So in theory, if I hit three and four, and then jump out of here, we should see this gradually build as it retracts. I mean, we could always set the speed a little bit quicker as well, but I mean, it's the idea of this is that I'm not here. It really doesn't matter. So that'll get that done. Right. And I think, I think that's good. So let's just, um, I'll tell you what, let's do like a really short time lapse and see if we can get this printed so i'm just going to leave this watching this 
and then we'll come back in a second when it's built. Okay, it's done, so we're just gonna cut it off. And in theory, it will fly. Yes, it does, nice. Now this is not set up to work for this base. So I'm just gonna turn this block off. Okay, with that time block off, that is safe. Now the only problem is, safe from what? We need to get it somewhere where it can charge up. So let's just, um, Clear this up a little bit. Oh wow, I always miss these little blocks. Get that one. That should be fine. Now, to get this out, we might as well take it out from uh, here. Now, I should, so I'm just thinking, I should be able to fly this from here. Small grid, 30 meters. Control. Uh, no, that doesn't seem like it. Do this. K. Is it Shift K? Shift K. We should be able to control this. There we go. At least this way we get to see what the outside looks like. <laughs> Smoking wreckage in here. Good sign, good sign. C. So, hopefully, I mean, there's a lot of sun, but hopefully you can see there is quite a bit of damage here, even though we have all these gun turrets protecting us. Whoa. Um, we need a different camera. This one? No, that's back. Blow. I'm just going to, wow, all this is damaged as well. I just want to drop this down here that it can charge, but we need to set some waypoints up for it. And to set waypoints up that are, you know, reasonable is really difficult at the stage. But that is that done. So I think we'll call it quits there. We've got a small grid printer. We have a replacement drone for the one that we blew up a couple of episodes ago. And we have a way of now getting iron back. But I think what we're going to do is we we need to, and set quite strongly, we need to basically go on the offensive, take out all of the bases that we can see nearby. So there's nothing nearby other than um, ships that are coming by. So I don't mind your cargo ship coming by. So I think next episode is going to be building a grinder to t start tidying up this mess because this stuff is really destroying the landscape so we'll get a, a grinder pit set up probably around here um i think there's where i wanted to put it because that it's nice to have a big window there but at the same time it's dead space it's not doing anything for us we're going to need a little ship to move things around and we need a ship for offensiveness so what i think we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna go on the offensive next episode. We're gonna build uh a I don't know what you'd call it, a, a little warship, something that we can use to go and take the fight to these little red things and hope that we survive. I'm tempted to bring out of heavy blocks, heavy armor blocks, because I just don't know if I can I'm not very good at the PvP in this game. I've not done a lot of it. So I I don't know if we're gonna survive. Um, it needs to be highly maneuverable. I don't think we have a lot of ice. I do wonder if we can build hydrogen. That gives us more power, but we'll go with aero. 
Um, so anyway, we'll build a ship. We'll use it to attack and do some offensive stuff. And we need to we need more gun turrets, unfortunately. So I think this one here is pretty useless. It only really protects us from this angle and above. There's nothing really here. We might need another one here, but then all of these are in the way. But again, if we can cut it down, do we really need it? I don't know. Oh, we'll talk about it next episode, I guess, and we'll work it out from there. But again, if you haven't seen episode uh, 12 and 11, or was it 12 and 13? 12 and 13. We did something a bit different in those two. Uh, 12 was a very short 10 minute one. And 13 was the same length as this really. I suspect this length is better in general. Or it makes no uh, meaningful difference. But I thought I'd put a 10 minute version out. Just to see if people liked it. So I'm interested in feedback basically. On whether or not people do actually like a short video. One thing we are definitely going to be doing uh, this week I guess. Given everything that's going on is we'll we'll create a or we'll open up a creative world and we'll start building the warship because i don't want to spend the time building in game it was too painful doing that welding ship uh, last time because it took a lot of retries took a lot of effort and now we've got the small grid printer we might as well just build it and come back to it you know we can we can build it and test it in creative and when we're happy we can just pilot the thing uh, from here by printing it and taking it out. And I think that will work out better for us. So with that said and done, let's get myself into a safe spot up here. Watch the sunset. And I guess we can call, call it the end of the video there. Remember, if you did enjoy the video, like and subscribe and leave comments. If you really dislike the video, then also dislike the video to let me know. Um, and give feedback like I don't know if this format is working um, one thing that you know I really am keen on is to get some feedback from you guys and we're going to start ramping up the video production quality as well as the number of videos so we're going to go from one a week to two a week I think we've got enough time to do that or I've got enough time to do that, I should say but anyway have a good one and we'll see you next week for the let's play but we'll see you on Wednesday for a build along so, chill out. See you next week. Fly safe.